I'm in Times Square right now. I'm bloated and I haven't showered. Elmo, Elmo, Elmo. Hey, oh my God, everyone's here. We're having the time of our life. Uh, bye. <laughs> we don't have any money right now, but yes, we'll do it, yes. And that's how you do a deal. <laughs> and also why I only carry cards. Hey guys, we're here in Times Square testing out the new Palm phone and we're on Instagram. What's up, New York? All right, so this is the Palm phone and it's basically a companion phone to be like the phone to your phone. That's a lot of phones and I still don't really understand what that means that happened, so it's out already. Um, it's got a lot of things that I don't know about. What I do know, though, is that it has 32 gigabytes of storage, three gigabytes of RAM, which is my college mascot, so that's fun. It runs on Snapdragon, which is like a cartoon, and has a two-inch body, so I am a little jealous of that, and 435 processor. I don't know what that means. I'm just gonna use the phone for the next few days and see if I can learn how to use this, learn how to turn it on, and learn what a Snapdragon is. All right, so I've had the Palm for about a few hours now in the afternoon. I'm at lunch right now. I just still can't get over how small it is. Like, it's the size of like a pickled cucumber. I feel like I could maybe get used to this new layout, but as of right now, it is kind of tricky. Here's the thing. We're on day two, so I still have to kind of get more and more used to it and kind of like live more of my day-to-day -day activity with it. As someone who uses social media kind of constantly, both professionally and personally, it's kind of hard to use it on something this size. Testing out the new Tom. It auto-corrected its own name. So even like the scrolling of it, I have to like kind of hold this out like here. It's kind of hard to like read everything. I feel like if I use it for like a little while longer, it would give me a headache. If this phone's like kind of end game is to not have you rely so much on social media or constantly checking it or things like that, that's great because it's doing its job because I personally wanted to get out of Instagram as quickly as possible when using it. So now we're gonna test out the camera quality on the Palm. Off the bat, I'm a little hesitant just because it's like a baby camera and I don't really know what to expect from it. So let's see. All right, so the quality actually looks pretty decent, um, but also we're outside. It's kind of like a gorgeous situation for like any photo to look pretty good. It's sort of like the Facetune hour. I'm curious to see what it looks like in more day-to-day -day situations that you have to deal with when you're trying to take a selfie. This is the quality I'm getting in my Beyonce t-shirt, just in bed, relaxing. It's kind of more of the day-to-day -day look. The thing is it's so dark. I guess I look good on it, but I don't even know now. It's so tiny. A dog can look at it in a camera. All right, guys, so it's day four with the Palm, and now we're gonna test it out in the gym. So the Palm markets itself as a wearable, so you can just put it on yourself and wear it, but I don't have that, so I'm just gonna tuck it in my sock. <laughs> it's a DIY. Oh my God, I did not actually have to work out for this. All right. What I'm using right now is Google Fit, which kind of is tracking my like steps and pulses and like, what's going on inside? But you have to wear that to let it track it. So either use one of the wearables that I mentioned, or if you got socks, it's a DIY. Even while I'm running, I can't even feel the palm in my sock, which is surprising. So far, no complaints. I'm running Bluetooth for the headphones, streaming the music with the headphones, and also doing Google Fit. I'm interested to see just how much battery I have left on a palm. There's a McDonald's right there staring at me, and I kind of feel like it's like if I walk a little bit farther, I'll get to it. <sighs> okay. So I burned 132 calories. That's like half of a kind bar. <laughs> So I guess I'll go back on it later. My steps was about like 2,000 and my distance was 0.94 miles. Okay, so I charged this this morning and it was at 100. And I gotta be honest with you, when I started walking to the gym, it went to 95 and like that. And I was like, hmm. okay, terrified. Um, but it's at 89. I've been running Bluetooth, playing music, having it track my steps. And that's pretty impressive. And I had that on life mode the entire time I was working out. If you're ever flying and you turn your phone on airplane mode, it kind of does that, but instead of having to reactivate your phone data and everything like that, right when you go back to grab your phone, it kind of comes back to life. Okay, so with life mode, once you turn it off, nothing will go through because then it knows you are in your life mode mood. And once I turn it back on, messages will come through and I'll get everything. So it really does let the power be in your hand for when you decide you want it or not. When you're ready to use your phone again, it will be ready for you. What are your first impressions about it besides size? It's so cute. You love, right? I totally love it. Yeah. How much is it? How much of it? 
$2.99. I feel like I'd probably take my chances breaking my regular yeah. phone. And I think that's my main issue too, because on top of the 300 to the 350, you also have to pay an additional $10 a month for Verizon number share, so you can get your numbers and everything synced up with your palm. In terms of where I'm budgeting a phone for my phone, it's a little lower on the totem pole. My other main issue too is that I'm a iPhone user. This is kind of like an Android phone, so if you use an Android, you're gonna have an easier time than I did. But uh, for me, I couldn't send iMessages or receive iMessages, so that was a major roadblock of like being realistic if I was gonna use this phone in my day-to-day -day life and I would go out with it. I couldn't text anybody or find out where they're going if they're running late. I'd just be like sitting at a bar alone for hours, which is fine with a glass of wine, but gets depressing after a while. In terms of like what I expected it to do, it does what it is supposed to be doing. It has all my apps. So once I logged in, they were seamless and I was able to use them with no like issue besides the size of the phone, but I kind of got used to that. But that's just me. I want to know, would you guys use the Palm phone? And if so, like what are you most excited about it for? Or what's like your biggest hesitation? Put all of that and whatever else you're feeling in the comments below. And before you do that, also make sure to like and subscribe for more tech reviews from me, Danny Murphy. Oh, and uh, Snapdragon is some sort of computer processor. So now I just have to find out what that is. <laughs>